Hey guys, what is up? BA3 back here today with another episode of our website programming series. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set an image as the background. And I'm going to show you what to do so you can keep all your images organized. So first what we're going to do is go into our website folder. And as you can see, I already added in a um, in an image. This is the banner for my YouTube channel. And what you're going to want to start by doing is a new folder and call it images. Like so. And take your banner or whatever, your JPEG, PNG, and throw it into your images folder. As you can see. So now we have our image in our images folder in our website folder. Now we're going to go over to our uh, program and we're going to go into our main and where you see your nav background color, get rid of that and do background image and then you're going to go to URL and it's going to be quotes images slash banner dot jpg like so and now let's just make sure we have it right oh I'm sorry I put one n like so and save and come back and refresh alright now problem is is that it's black because as you can see the image is black here so to fix this let's do a quick I'm gonna just edit it in Photoshop and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I now cut down the top and bottom. So if we go back to our website, obviously we need to you know, resize the image, but you can see that it is, you know, it has the image as the background. If we inspect it and we go to here, and let's make the height like 500 pixels. You can see that we have the logo. Now, as you can see, the image does repeat when you pass however big your box, your image is. So, you know, you want to try and keep it, you know, somewhere, uh, you know, somewhere in the range of how big your image is. Now, let me go fix the image so that it fits perfectly in the box and we will continue on with this episode. All right guys, I'm back. And instead of resizing the image, what we are going to do is in our nav CSS, we are going to do background size and we are gonna do for the width however many pixels we want. So if the width is 100%, we'll do 100%. And for the height, we will do the height of the box. So 214 pixels. And let's save this. And let's see if this fixes it. Perfect, look at that. Exactly what we wanted. How you know, I mean, is there anything different that, you know, you would want to do? I mean, that looks perfect. I mean, obviously you have the hello world in there, but, um, you know, let's go and we can take that out. We can take out this now that we have our header and refresh the page and boom, there you go. You have your header of the, you know, business or the as I have YouTube channel, whatever it is, it allows you to set your image as your website header. I hope you guys found this episode to be useful. Next episode, I'm going to get into your actual content down here and you know what your website will contain, you know, links and buttons and you know, a whole slew of things. So Definitely stay, you know, stay around and, uh, you know, be on the lookout uh, next week for the uh, 
the next episode of the programming series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe for more. And as always, I'm BA3. Peace.